Greetings YouTube. Today I'm going to talk about a new Kershaw blade, the Kershaw Cryo. Um, product code 1555TI. Um, at the moment I have a magnetic zipper pull on here. I'm just going to take that off for the moment. Now this is an all metal um, knife assisted opening. Frame lock um, has a deep um, carry clip, which I happen to really quite like, four position options, which is also an excellent feature. Um, in Sinus, the distance between here and here is a little greater than if you're on this end. So if you're carrying it tipped down, you'll actually go a little deeper in your pocket than you will if you do tip up, but I prefer tip up, so I'm willing to tolerate that. You'll notice this little disc here that keeps the, um, the frame lock from going too far this way, which is kind of a nice feature. Um, there's the pivot adjustment here. It is open construction with these nice barbell um, pillars. In fact, this one right here has the lanyard hole going right through it, which is um, a feature I think is quite nice. Um, it, has a, it has a nice, very professional appearance to it. Uh, again, uh, assisted opening. And and I really can't read that right now. Who's designed by? I apologize. I'm a smidge tired. My eyes are a little blurry at the moment. It has two thumb studs here, and I gotta tell you, these thumb thumb studs I think are completely extraneous because I can't open with this knife with this thumb with these thumb studs. I definitely consider this to be a pure flipper. Um, has a nice. Uh, uh, Drop point design has a really attractive swedge, very pleasant satin finish. The whole thing has a finish, a nice satin finish. There's just enough tooth on this for me to grab it and hold it and use it comfortably with the gloves I wear at work. Um, and I'm right-handed, and I can open and close this quite easily with the one hand. I can actually open and close this with my left hand. Opening is easy, closing it with my left hand. But again, I'm not left-handed, so they're. Um, it might be easier for someone who is left-handed, but I can do it. I just don't can't really do it all that comfortably. Now, I was really quite pleased with this. At one time, I owned a lot of, uh, used a lot of all-metal knives, some of which I've sold off over over time. Um, but I thought I'd give this one a try because it's a reasonable price point. It's a new design. I thought I'd give it a fling, uh, and I'm really quite pleased with it. It's in very thin profile. It doesn't take up much real estate in your pocket at all. It fits very nicely. Um, it has a good feel. It's it's probably just a smidge too wide in this div di dimension for my taste. Just a little bit, not much. I My hands aren't overly large. For a person with slightly larger hands, that might be a little more comfortable. For me, this is a four full four-finger carry, which is also nice, and it's not more bl blade than I, than I need. Um, and all the positive things I'm saying about this, there is one negative. I don't know if you can see it, but right in here, right at the, right at this corner, there's a notch missing. There's a, there's an actual nick in the, in the blade, which is actually came this way. Now that's purely cosmetic. This particular section of the blade does nothing. I am not going to return it. I'm not going to worry about it, but it does, it does bother me that that got past some QA person. They did not catch that. That's, that's a little slip shot. But other than that, the fit and the finish is quite nice. Um, centering is good. It's not perfect, um, but it's decent. Uh, I think you're gonna think having a frame lock makes a lit, makes centering a little more problematic than, than, than a liner lock. Uh, there's a little more dynamic things going on in a frame lock. Uh, but definitely, this is uh, a knife that I would recommend to people who like an all metal frame lock, who like uh, a four position clip, who want a knife that is thin, it is a smidge on the heavy side, but again, it's, you know, it's all, it's all steel. So I, uh, I do recommend this. It's, it's a nice blade and this is one I'll probably be swapping out on a regular basis because I really do enjoy carrying it.